So, you're thinking of moving to Burlington, Ontario? Well, don't do it. Absolutely not. No, I'm just kidding. Everyone's moving to Burlington these days. It's a great little city. Tons to do here in terms of attractions and amenities, right along Lake Ontario, and close enough to Toronto to catch a bit of the big city life. But still, with all that said, Burlington is not for everyone. I've lived in the area almost my whole life and I can definitely tell you that there are definitely a few good reasons why you would not want to move here and so that's what this video is all about. So stick around and learn the top reasons why you should not move to Burlington, Ontario and we'll get after it right now. your first time to the channel and you want to know everything that there is to know about living, working, eating, sleeping, playing in Toronto, Ontario and the surrounding cities across the greater Toronto area like right here in Burlington, Ontario, then subscribe below so you can be the first to know about the current real estate market in Toronto, Ontario. My name is Rochelle. I'm a local real estate agent here helping people here just like you and you and you and you and you make the move to the greater Toronto area and I'd love to do the same for you. But today we're going to talk about why Burlington, Ontario, which is a suburb just about 60 kilometers west of Toronto may not be the best fit for you and why you may not want to move here and I'm going to kick it off with the biggest issue that people are facing when trying to move to the city is that house prices are expensive, very expensive. For example, a one bedroom condo like this is going to run you about $623,000, a two bedroom town will cost about $928,000. A three bedroom semi will likely go for $1.136 million and a four bed detached just like this one here will easily run you a cool $2.165 million. So it is not cheap to live here and if your dream home is a nice modern single family house with four bedrooms under a million dollars then you definitely don't want to move to Burlington because that home does not exist here. It hasn't in the last six months. Another big reason you don't want to move here is if you don't like sitting in traffic. And now obviously no one likes sitting in traffic, but the thing is, is that Burlington is a city that was designed for drivers back in the early 60s, but that was when it was still a small town with limited infrastructure. And so as the population grew and grew and continues to do so to this day, you're naturally going to see a lot of traffic. For example, if you take a look at this Google Maps screenshot, it shows that to get from the Burl Oak Waterfront Park, which is at the easternmost tip of Burlington, to the Royal Botanical Gardens, which is at the westernmost tip, it's only a 20 kilometer distance, but easily a good 45 minute drive. And that's on the highway. Another thing to keep in mind is that once the highway does fill up, which is typical around rush hour, then you'll see all of the interior streets back up too. This is especially true if you're coming from the east end and so if you work in say Mississauga, Oakville and heading west to get back home to Burlington, then you may want to reconsider moving to Burlington because that commute is going to be twice as long. If you are thinking of taking public transit to get around, then you'll be disappointed in that too. <laughs> there are only three GO Transit stations in Burlington and they're always crowded. If you're thinking of biking, then the city does promote its 200 kilometers of bicycle lanes, utility paths, and the like. But if you actually ask any cyclist who rides the city to get around, they'll likely tell you that the lanes aren't as safe as they could be. At the end of the day, Burlington is a very car dependent city. If you rely on other modes of transportation, then Burlington may not be the best fit for you. They are trying to improve the city infrastructure, but that's another thing is that if you're looking for peace and quiet, you may want to look elsewhere than Burlington. Construction is abundant in Burlington as it is still a very desirable area to move to for many people. And so the city is always trying to build more homes to keep up with the demand for housing. But that said, particularly in the downtown core, you're gonna get a lot of noise and dust and detours you'll have to take you know, to get around. And so again, if, uh, you know, peace and quiet is your thing, then Burlington may not be for you. So there are definitely a good number of drawbacks about living in Burlington that you want to be cautious of. Burlington isn't for everybody, especially if you're looking for more affordable housing relative to other cities in the greater Toronto area. Burlington is considered to be one of the more expensive cities to live. But there are still some pros to living here that I want to share with you just to help you understand the area a little bit better and give you a full picture of what it's actually like to live here. 
For starters, McLean's Magazine named Burlington the best community in Canada in 2019. Burlington does bring many perks to the table. Pro number one, it's a waterfront city. Burlington, Ontario sits on the shores of Lake Ontario, and so you're naturally going to have lots of fun activities and amenities to enjoy along the water. Every year, for example, they kick off the summer season with a Sound of Music Festival, which is a multi-day event that features midway games, dance competitions, eating contests, market stalls, and a parade. The Burlington Rib Fest, that's another popular festival that takes place annually with food trucks, music, and of course, good ribs. But my personal favorite attraction along the waterfront is the boardwalk, which stretches two kilometers along Lake Ontario. On any given day, you'll find people walking, smiling, just enjoying the views of the lake and the scenery and the fresh air. And because from any given spot on the boardwalk, you're just a short distance from other attractions, like Spencer Smith Park, which has this massive playground that's new, clean, and has all of these structures that you don't usually see at your regular neighborhood park, like a zip line. I always see a long lineup for that. And even a couple of times I've caught parents trying to check it out too, because it does look really fun. <laughs> but next to the playground is a splash pad. And then all throughout, you've got all of these umbrella stands offering shade and benches, you know, green spaces to sit down for a picnic. You'll see a lot of families bringing large coolers, stuffed with food and snacks and just claiming their spot in front of all of the action. And then across the street, you've got Lakeshore Road, which is lined back to back with a restaurant and restaurant after restaurant and ice cream stores. And it's just a really nice vibe along the waterfront and truly Burlington's biggest selling feature. Then just a stone's throw away from the waterfront is your downtown area, which in my opinion is the nicest downtown area in all of Halton region. Milton, Oakville, Halton Hills, they all have their own little central area, but I find Burlington's to be much more alive and vibrant. There are blocks and blocks of shopping, restaurants, local businesses, and this is also where the city hosts art exhibits, live concerts, and the Burlington Jazz Festival. There's lots to do downtown. It's got a great energy to it. Next time you're in town, I do recommend Kelly's Bake Shop. They were a tripadvisors.ca Traveler's Choice Eatery in 2021. They've got delicious, healthy, vegetarian, and, ve and vegan friendly um, cupcakes. I personally recommend the matcha shortbread cookie. It has melted with chocolate. It just melts in your mouth. And if you are into the outdoors, that's another pro of being here is that there are tons of outdoor recreational activities to take part in. The Niagara Escarpment, which is this massive bedrock formation that starts in the States and then crosses through Canada and actually makes its way through Burlington. People go rock climbing on it or uh, even just a leisurely hike because it has a bunch of well-preserved trails. The Royal Botanical Gardens on the west end of the city has the largest lilac collection in the world. Can, uh, kids can run around the gardens while you take in the beautiful sights and smells of all the different flowers. There are actually only two naturally occurring magnetic hills in the world, and one of them happens to be right here in Burlington on King Road, just north of Baby Park. That's the kind of hill, by the way, where if you park your car at the bottom of the hill on neutral, the car will just be pulled up on the hill on its own. There's an urban legend that that, that happens because of some paranormal freak, you know, like ghost-like activity, but really it's just an optical illusion where it looks like the hill is sloping upward, but you're actually sloping downward. So no real history or no real mystery behind that, but a really cool place to check out nonetheless. At the end of the day, Burlington is a top choice for many families, singles, and couples alike. Yes, housing is expensive, but you can always just start off with a smaller home, just get your foot in the door in Burlington, and then move into a bigger home as your needs grow. You're likely gonna see appreciation on your home. I can't guarantee it, but the Burlington population is growing and as a demand for housing grouses, then so will the prices of homes. And so altogether, if the pros outweigh the cons, then Burlington may very well be a good fit for you and your family too. The waterfront is alive with concerts and events and activities for everyone to enjoy and keep the community active and happy. There are great family-friendly neighborhoods, a wide selection of recreational activities, shopping malls, and altogether a booming economy. 
You're also close to and right in between Niagara and uh, Toronto, um, just an hour from both. And so again, if you're looking for that well-balanced mix of urban fun and a safe, relaxed community, and you've decided that all the pros outweigh the cons, then give me a shout. I would love to help you call Burlington home. I've been helping people all across Toronto and abroad for the last seven years purchase and sell real estate here, and I'd love to do the same for you. You can give me a shout right here. All of my contact is down below. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, or schedule a Zoom call with me, and I would be happy to help you make that smooth move to Toronto or any of the surrounding suburbs, like right here in Burlington. And if you don't know what particular area to move to, then definitely check out this video that rhymes off the most popular neighborhoods in the city that people are moving to. You get a drive-by of some of the main streets so that you can see the homes up close and personal. I go through neighborhood demographics, school ratings, nearby amenities, all so that you get a good look of what the communities actually look and feel like. In the meantime, if you did get any value from this video, then I would love for you to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because it really does help me to continue to put out more content for people just like you looking to make a move to the greater Toronto area. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you stay safe. Much love to our Ukrainian friends around the world. Our hearts are with you. Take care, everybody. I'll see you around town.